I think these games really get to highlight one of my many problems I have with the Ivankov list, and that's that its early game can be a little lacking sometimes. You're pretty much all in on the seven cost of uh, Vankov combo into going into something later, and especially into removal heavy matchups that are all over the place right now with uh, stuff like law bottom decking your things. The flamingos and the four cost blockers don't really stick around and that's what can be really tough into a matchup like this it's very high risk high reward when you think about it so enjoy the games apparently this matchup is actually pretty good um i might actually run this i might actually run this they go first we obviously want to go first but we have some options here like we're not we're probably not going to be bottom decking a lot like we have the combo in our hand right that's the thing we have our combo in hand and we just need to get i mean three more turns we're gonna be taking some hits so uh we have some lot of 2k counters here that's it that's that's the plan that's the plan and then what we can do is play buggy this gives us this as a two searchable 2k right and then I think we just give that to them as an option to counter because they're going to pounce. This is 3,000 power less. Actually, if we play this. Oh, oh, well, then. Honestly, I'm kind of down. Like, what am I what am I supposed to do for some amount of turns here? Like, I probably go like next turn. I go to six, right? I go to six and then I do like I could play this. And then just go draw, draw, draw and call it because I might actually have to end up using all of those removals to get anywhere in this matchup. And I'm going to force this because this forces a card out of their hand. They can't actually minus my Doe Flamingo. Yeah. So we can no blocker. It might actually be better to go blocker here. Just use the card up because they are just going to minus it anyway. It actually might have been better just to use on my blocker. It honestly might have been. But they might minus the buggy here, which cheats out a card. I think I might actually just play this, but you know what? Let's deploy this. The 6k. And then attack here. That's the plan. Just force some cards out, right? That's all this is about. Now I have not only a blocker that you have to spend a resource to bottom deck, but I also have a big threat in croc that you also have to spend like two resources um two pieces of resources to bottom deck and then after that i'm playing yo i'm playing gravity blade gravity blade gravity blade right like i'm 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 wiping your board out and swinging for free right like you can remove one of these and it's not looking that great for you this is one of those matchups where again i've been told that it's really good i've been told that it's really good for me as an ivankov player like look at this gordon is minus 3k okay this brings it to four you need one more and that's what i love about it it's two cards gone like they have to do this on my croc now i'm gonna play ivankov into into inazuma they have to do it all over again like it's so free it's it's actually so free look at this yeah, it's so free. Okay. And then now on my turn, I'm going to go bottom, bottom. Okay. Sure. This is probably one of the better cards in this deck. That's really frustrating. Um, but it's okay. Yeah, this hit I'll take trigger we can just play out multiple blocks we should take a blocker hit though at some point I, I really should yep attack six and a five probably just force a card out force to take a 2k counter out oh they took the hit interesting so in that case i'm gonna go this is a blocker right so remove the two blockers and then bottom and then we can do that again this turn I, I honestly need to use this Doflamingo. I'm, I'm being like hella lazy. I just, I kind of just want to see if they're willing to use a resource just to block it out. Like here, I'll, I'll do it now. I'll just do it now. I'll just do it now. 
Uh, sure. Actually, trash that for counter. Because there's going to come a point where I'll probably... Yeah, next turn, I'm going to go Gravity Blade into Doflamingo. Run it there. Okay. Okay. Yep. So I'm going to look to clear out their board. The Reiju is like the most frustrating part about this deck. But, uh, three. Go here. Attach. I could attach into the buggy, but I don't think that's really worth it. That, and then we'll do this. End the turn. And then we got it again, right? We, we, we have it again. Like, yeah, you're drawing all these cards, but yeah, I'm going to bottom deck that this turn as well, and then I'm going to be able to play blocker and run it back. Kidding Killer is like my is like my real fear right now, because I'm pretty I'm playing pretty defensively here, and it may not be correct, but let's see. It's also, I mean, to be fair, the amount of Rejus that they've gotten is insane, so. Yep. Fire Fist coming through. Okay. Yep. Bottom buggy. Yep. Yep. Got a bottom deck. Both of those. Yep. Take the hit. No trigger. Noise. We're going to go bottom deck. Bang, bang. Deploy this. Honestly, things I want to draw into. I don't want to draw into any of these. I want to draw into these because they're counters. I need you to bottom deck everything here. Yep. I don't know. I Apparently, this is supposed to be a good matchup, but to be fair, double Reju is kind of insane. Okay, law, and then now they can bottom deck. Yep. Play something else out. Yeah, maybe I just let this game run away from me. Maybe I let this game run away from me. Maybe I should have been more offensive, but... Maybe I stuck too hard to the combo, to be fair. Trash and trash. Used to bottom deck that 100%. That's not swinging at me, not for free. That is a great trigger. Uh, let's swang in, tack at this. Nice. And what we'll do is deploy this. Honestly, I think this is better. If we, yeah, so this is why I wanted to keep this up as an option. Um, I think what we'll do is we will use card action, trash these two, bounce this to your hand, end the turn, and then I will draw two cards. And that's what I'll do. That's able to kind of control their board a little bit. They can go in for like one attack. And this is where things start, honestly, this is where things start getting a little scary. Because I don't have much defense. So I gave that back to them, but it's gonna cost them four Dawn just to go minus 2K. That brings it to five. I mean, again, they need to use multiple cards to be able to bottom deck anything. They need to use like two cards and then they need to have like another card. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, they don't want the double attack coming down. Yep. Gordon. Yep. Yep, the bottom deck. <sighs> I feel like at, at every turn, I feel like at every turn they've had something here. Feel like at every turn they've had something. All right, honestly, this is GG. I don't think I'm moving past this. I feel like I've done everything in my power and they've constantly managed to have like some type of reducer. <sighs> Not enough two Ks. I might've kept my hand too aggressively, but this is a learning moment. This is a learning moment. It's fine. I'm still learning this deck. GG. So against Doflamingo, they're gonna have a lot of counters here. We're gonna keep this. Um, we have a lot of two Ks in hand and we can search up part of our combo here if we need to. Perfect, but we have to shift these to the which isn't great, but we could potentially find buggies. 
just gonna run it like that in the turn. At least we have the gum gum though. I think red rock's gonna be pretty good here, especially against like 10 cost flamingo. I can't remember if this deck plays a cost kid. Can I play a cost kid? That's a card I just I haven't played against enough. Can't it's like it's gotta it has a condition, it's gotta be like supernovas or something, so maybe not here. Um but all right, uh, in this case, I need to expose my buggy here. I'll just swing 8K here. Yep. Turn. Like, we're going to go exactly to 7, and then we'll start doing some things. I ideally don't want to be just playing out Emporio on 7. That is really annoying. That's fine. I'll start tapping down my things. Sugar is probably the most frustrating part about this matchup, honestly. Yeah. Probably the most frustrating part about this matchup. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I think maybe we deploy this. It's a 2k counter. I know it's a little awkward, but... Yeah, and then so now we're able to like kill this, right? Is this a forced rest or they can like I think it might be a forced rest. I was trying to think like if I pray Prince Bellet, but it's like I don't know. I might be able to protect this one a little bit better. I have two 2Ks in hand, so I was like, I might just be able to protect this one a little bit better. Um trash that. Like, we don't want to play Mr. Bonclay, but we will if we have to, right? Yep, so they don't untap. That's fine. Cost of fiber less. Okay. Um, it's nothing I really want to play right now. That's the thing. I don't want to play into that. Okay. Well, that's really annoying. So, regardless... You know what? Deploy this. Deploy this. If you want to activate abilities, yeah, once on your turn. So this is gonna get rid of a card. If they're gonna if they're gonna counter out, this is gonna get rid of a card out of their hand. And you know what? They're at what? Like they're at six dawn. It's gonna be a little bit more before Bird Cage gets value. So I'll get my value out of the out of the Gion here or Gion. Yep. Yep, bottom deck a card. Yep. It's fine. So that's two cards out of their hand. Hopefully, if they can play multiple things out this turn, that's a card I will swing into happily here. Yep. Yep. They just go all 9k into it. Yep. Sense. Honestly. Just do it. It's kind of annoying. And I set the two dawn is active. I do that first. They probably don't want to play anything out here. Like, yeah, it's going to like this is just going to incentivize them to pop this, not reduce any Dawn or anything like that. Like go for any Dawn minus abilities or anything like that. So they've taken some hits, which is good. They're at 10. Yep. And then if they play this out, I'll just be able to. So will they activate the baby five? Draw baby five, okay. And now they have a lot of cards in hand. How do I how do I whittle them down? Right? Like I, I need to establish a board and stuff like birdcage is like really not helping here. Yeah, take a hit. And 
yeah. So this takes care of. Oh no! Don't don't end turn. Um. Arrested characters. Oh. Oh. That changes that changes how I play this. Um. I thought I thought it was just characters by itself. What do I do here? What what is what is generally the play? I think it might be bottom deck this swing at swing at them 5k. Right? Deploy this and end the turn. This is a blocker. Rested characters. Cost four or less. Not gonna get a lot of opportunity. This is just like this must be what playing playing at Tsunami must be like, but just a whole lot of nothing happening. A whole lot of nothing. A whole lot of nothing. Another birdcage. A whole lot of control. Okay. Now that I actually read the card properly, because I can't read. Knowing that it's rested characters is really important. Um, no blocker, go trash and trash. Yep. Now what we can do is we will play this to bottom, bottom. Right, they'll play bird cage. This kind of incentivizes the bird cage play. Go five for five. Yep. Five to five. This should take two cards out of their hand. Come on, just take a card out of your hand. We're just playing Dofi and seeing if we can find the Inazuma. That's that's what I want to do. I really need to maximize on the Inazuma here. We'll play this in case we need to, but on that, we will draw into this Inazuma. Yeah. Um, well, Gravity Blade, if we need to, we probably don't, to be fair. I think it's pretty safe to assume we don't. Um, and we will probably just go ahead and do that. Finally found an Inazuma. So we can now, now we can start churning through our deck. Create a board, start churning through our deck, make it happen here. Very cool control deck, but not one that's really going to work here. I imagine, though, in a world of law, in a world of RP law, it might actually be good here. Need more characters. All right, so we'll resolve, take that hit, no trigger. Okay, so that doesn't untap, and that's perfectly fine. What we will do... Not really gonna draw anything at this point. So we will. How do we want to play this? Do I want to play the buggy after after the seven K? I don't think so. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna attach and then attack here. I think I'm just gonna play the Inazuma and pass. Swing this much, perfect. We're gonna deploy, play the Inazuma, end the turn, draw two cards. Beautiful. So next turn we can play the Monkey D Luffy. Um, we can play the Gravity Blade, depending on how they play this. I mean, stuff like this is amazing because, you know, okay, Gravity Blade a lot less value now. Truly a lot less value. So it might end up being four, it's four or less though. Okay, no trigger on that. Do have some amount of counters though now. So I think what we want to do is we'll deploy. This has no blocker, right? So we'll deploy this, drop this, probably just drop Perona. Then what we can do is 7K swing. We can play another seven cost here. 7K swing. Right? 7k swing. And we're really, 
really, really whittling them down here. Yeah, cost of five or less. I mean, this birdcage is really not doing much at this point. So we're going to deploy here, use this, drop the Kaya. Uh, it's four or less, right? So honestly, let's do it. Yeah, let's use this card action. Let's use this card action. Go trash, trash. Bounce this to my hand. And that saves it. That saves it. Why not? I still get to draw cards and it saves it. Give me a great blocker. And then now our opponent doesn't have a way to win this game. <laughs> you don't have a way to win this game. There's there's no way. Unless you start clearing out clearing to my board. I mean, even still, like I attach all dawn, attacking your flamingo. What do you do? You have no life. This game's over. Okay. Uh sure. fact that you're not clearing out my board is insane. Okay, we're going to trash. We're going to trash. Sure. No trigger. GG's. Just, just start swinging raw into them. Yep, GG's. All right. I mean, there you go. Like at some point, like they just weren't able to kind of close the game off there. I guess maybe did they draw into this Del Flamingo here? I mean, I guess even if they played that, like they just did, they, they just had cards that didn't really counter out. So yeah, they just, they just started drawing the wrong part of their deck. It's really unfortunate, but hey, GG's. Yo, Mono Black Sakazuki. Uh, we'll go first. Mono Black Sakazuki. Okay. All right. We'll run this just because of the buggy. I mean, we have double gravity blade as well. I mean, they're going to be playing Sabos. They're going to be playing Luchis. Like, you know. Grab the 2k counters. For the turn. So you have to pay three. Trash a card from your hand. KO one of your opponent's characters with a cost of zero. I mean, this is a deck that definitely wants Kuzon too. So that's something to worry about. I will say that's something to worry about. I mean, next turn, I probably just want to play that. And then turn after that. Might just want to play out a blocker. I don't know, actually. I think we return cards and then. Yeah, let's just attack. Just attack 5k. And then end the turn. That's it. Okay, let's no blocker. Let's do this. You know, wide board. Pick no cards to draw either. I mean, attack 5k. Nothing. I they're seeing nothing that they want to get rid of. We'll deploy this and end the turn some point the removal has to be overwhelm them at some point you know at some point i'm going to be able to get empty handed pretty well here yep that's fine pay your three there you go cards are dying no blocker trash this card okay so i'm at seven exactly five to four Perfect. Bottom, bottom. <laughs> Just goodbye. <laughs> Got a free card out of it. They wanted to save it. That's perfectly fine. Next turn, I'm at nine. Just going to go like 2K, you know, 7K swing into, into lead and force some more options. They found Tashigi again, which is really annoying. Okay. Okay. Uh, no blocker trash cards. I mean, I'll block her here. Yup. And then what we will do is go. 
Honestly, we probably at least at a baseline do this. Where's my, where's my thing, eh? Like, what do I do the turn after this? Like, do I just want to play this removal game? I mean, I can bottom deck two things. It's not a problem. Start forcing double attacks. I don't want double attacks, though. I think I just want to play the Inazuma realistically. And then what we can do is swing 5k into this. See what they do. Yep. Then we just swing all. Honestly, hold on. We're at five dawn. Maybe that's better as a 2k counter. Have some Dawn swing into this. Swing 8k into lead. Truly, maybe that's just better as a counter. Yep. That's unfortunate. That is a f that's a really good card here. That is a really good card here. Once they start playing out like crazy amount of things here, I mean, they start their turn. They're going to go to 10 Dawn, draw two cards. 10 cost Kuzan is kind of what I'm worried about, which is what I was thinking about, like, top decking my, um, like, topping my Red Rock. But I don't know. Yeah, or Mori is an option, too. But some of Mori's targets I can bottom deck. Yeah, some of Mori's targets I can bottom deck. What do you get with the brand? Oh, Suru, all right, for counters. All right, fair enough. Draw the Rob, yeah. That's gonna be a card to grab. Uh, Two to two, resolve that, that's fine. Cause then the, the Rebecca can draw, go into that as well. Noise. Deploy, deploy, and turn. All right, I kind of had to deploy that. Like, just so I forgot to realize maybe I should have just countered with the thing, but I had to do that just to get the card draw effect. Pretty sure I want to maximize on that every turn. This game might be escaping for me here. Black leader just being able to KO things. Draw the Hina, minus four cost. Yep. Now it's a two cost. Okay. Luchi can kill it now. Luchi can kill both of these. Luchi can kill one of these. Uh, now Luchi can kill both of these. Now Luchi can kill both of these. All right. And I got myself my targets. Yep. Let's trash that for counter. Yep, take that hit. Let's go. We can go one, two, three at uh, lead. Cause I have the, the thing here. I need to get rid of this. The Rebecca can hang around. It's not the Rebecca that I'm necessarily concerned with. The Rebecca can prevent some damage, but it's not what I'm necessarily concerned with. Come on, just block with that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, we're trying to we're trying to control the game. We're trying to control the board. We're trying to do our thing here. But uh, let's see, let's see what happens here. Okay, nine K swing. No stopping that. No trigger. Do have straight six K counter here. Yep. I'll tell you that'd be a card. That'd be a card. This is four or less, right? And then it gains double attack. Yep. Munikeo effects. Yep. Trash that for counter. Yep, trash both of these for counter. deck that's always gonna have card draw available to it 
Just one of those things. Just one of those things, truly. Um, perfect. So we're, what we're going to do is we are going to swing into this. Yep. Then what we can do is bottom deck this. We can play this. All right. Now we can start getting our combo going. Um, let's see if it's not too late. See if, you know, this is, this is our way to come back into this game. If we start pooping out a bunch of creatures, a bunch of characters here. Keep drawing these though. Yep. No cards to draw. Yep. At opponent. I'm a fan. Trashing these three remaining cards. Big fan, big fan, big fan. So let's KO that now. They can swing with all these if they want. I think they might want to hold up the Sabo. Let's see. Do they go for the Sabo attack? I have a 2k counter. Do they go for the Sabo attack? I mean, they can. They have the Rebecca. Yeah. Okay, they don't. We will. Let's just, can we just try and kill this thing? Overcommit some Dawn. This kind of influences Rebecca. It does not. It does not. Deploy, deploy this End the turn, draw two cards. It's the best I can do. I don't know if this is too late. They definitely can go for a win here. And I think that's what's scary. They can choose to, they can choose not to. Because they're still at three life with a ton of blockers up here. And then, I don't know. It depends on how much they have to block. They're smart not to go for the Sabo. We're in a real sticky situation though. We're in a real sticky situation, yeah. They go big, 9k. Can't counter out of that. Use this trigger to bottom deck this, and now they just swing all. That's unfortunate. We, I feel like we were close. I feel like we were close. Might have... Might have been a situation where I would have been able to play this better. If this was a counter, I guess it would have been better to play out this, honestly. Yeah, I just, well, no, I wouldn't have been able to draw the cards. It's tough. It's a tough world. All right, GG's. GG's, GG's.